वेलकम टू आर टी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ सेशन फाइव ऑफ आर चैप्टर सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड द टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स बेस्ड ऑन बिहेवियर टूवर्ड्स हीट प्लास्टिक्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज थर्मो प्लास्टिक्स एंड थर्मो सेटिंग प्लास्टिक्स Let us continue today's session by studying the differences between thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics soften and get deformed on heating, whereas thermosetting plastics do not soften or melt on heating. Thermoplastics can be reshaped or remolded as many times as desired. On the other hand, thermosetting plastics once set cannot be reshaped even on heating thermoplastics have linear arrangement of monomers whereas thermosetting plastics have cross linked arrangement of monomers thermoplastics include polyvinyl chloride polystyrene polythene etc examples of thermosetting plastics include bakelite melamine etc plastic has become an indispensable part of our life the usefulness of plastic has made our life easier plastics are being used extensively almost everywhere such as in offices households hospitals etc now although it is very convenient to use plastic but there are several problems associated with it Let's study about the disadvantages of using plastics. Plastics are non-biodegradable. That is, they do not decompose naturally by the action of microorganisms. So, the accumulation or collection of plastic waste creates environment hazards. Also, recycling of plastic is very costly. plastics on burning release many poisonous gases causing air pollution let's learn about some more disadvantages of using plastic people throw away plastic bags carelessly on the roads that chokes the drain this causes overflow of water especially during the monsoon season mosquitoes also breed in choked drains causing diseases like malaria choked or obstructed sewage systems also do not allow rain water to seep into the ground causing problems in recharging ground water cows and other stray animals may swallow plastic bags thrown in the garbage this may result in the death of animals Now let us study some advantages and disadvantages of some properties of plastics. The first property is durability. It is advantageous because it provides long life to the plastic materials or articles. It is disadvantageous because due to this property plastic remains in the environment undecomposed for a long time. Second property is resistance towards chemicals. it is advantageous because due to this property plastics are useful for making different containers they do not react with chemicals and so they are safe for keeping the chemicals specifically jams and pickles are kept in plastic containers it is disadvantageous because plastic remains unchanged in the garbage third property is plastic can be recycled advantages plastic can be melted to form various kind of products like toys containers bottles etc but there is a disadvantage with this property that is recycling of plastic is very costly and it is associated with respiratory problems due to inhalation of toxic fumes these were some advantages and disadvantages of plastic and its properties
Now let's learn about some measures to reduce plastic pollution. Each individual can contribute to reduce pollution by following the 4 R's principle. This includes reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Reduce. Try to avoid usage of plastic articles in order to minimize the amount of plastic waste generated. This can be done by following these measures. Buy products with less plastic packaging, using jute, cloth or paper bags instead of plastic bags while shopping. Shopkeepers must be encouraged to use recycled paper bags. Minimize the use of plastic wherever possible. Reuse. Used item that we usually throw away should be reused if possible. For example, we should not throw away the plastic bags after using them once it can, as it can be reused. A broken plastic milk mug is used as pen and pencil holder or as a small flower pot. A plastic box of sweets or biscuits is used for storing other things. Recycle Recycling is the breaking down of used items and using them as a raw material to form new items. By recycling, the products can be reshaped and can be used for other purposes. Articles that cannot be reused should be sent for recycling. Recover Recovering includes selection of discarded items for specific use so that they can be converted into some kinds of resources. For example, the waste can be converted into compost and used to enhance soil fertility. The waste can be used as a fuel for generating electricity also. Let us study some other important measures that can be taken to reduce or minimize plastic pollution. Plastic bags should be disposed properly by throwing them in dustbins. Plastics should not be thrown into rivers, lakes, seas as they contaminate water. Plastic should not be dumped in the soil because it obstructs the growth and movement of roots of plants. Dumping of plastic in the soil also pollutes the groundwater and makes it unfit for human use. Let us revise what we have learned by solving a checkpoint from your textbook page number 46. Fill in the blanks. Dash are small units that join to make a polymer. Dash is also known as artificial silk. Dash is used as a cheaper alternative to wool. Natural fibers are obtained from dash and dash. Note down your answers in a notepad and wait for the correct answers to display. Let us see what are the answers. Monomers are small units that join to make a polymer. Rayon is also known as artificial silk. Acrylic is used as a cheaper alternative to wool. Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. Let us solve another checkpoint from page number 50 of your textbook. State whether true or false. Plastics are biodegradable substance. Plastics can be recycled. The articles made of plastics are durable. PVC is a thermosetting plastic. Bakelite was the first fully synthetic plastic.
Note down your answers in the notepad. Now let us see what are the correct answers. Plastics are biodegradable substance. It is false because we have studied that plastics are non-biodegradable. Plastics can be recycled. True. The articles made of plastics are durable. This is true because durability is a property of plastic. PVC is a thermosetting plastic. It's false because PVC that is polyvinyl chloride is a thermoplastic. Bakelite was the first fully synthetic plastic. This is true. Bakelite was the first fully synthetic plastic which was invented by Leo Bakelin. That was all for today's class. Thank you.